Hey guys, thanks for joining me, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Hello peoples, welcome to Sharp Ends. Today I have a little review of this Taycog $30 knife from Gurren, made with 14C28N, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal for that price point. Don't know how they do it. McGurin's good on their heat treat as well, so I think that this is probably pretty good to go. It's hollow ground down here and it has a tumble finish and then a belt finish up here. So that is a cool little thing. It's thick behind the spine to the point, so it's going to be good for poking things um, and, you know, not breaking your tip. Uh, that's pretty darn cool. It has two opening mechanisms. It only has one thumb stud and access for one place, and it's really a right-handed knife. It does not flip over. I've done a full disassembly on this. Uh, came out a couple of days ago. You could check that out, but it is constructed very well. There was no surprises. It took me so little time to take this apart and put it back together again. I was truly astonished at how well they did it. There were several cool little things they did. Machining on the inside to make it lightweight construction. It's obviously sandwich constructed. In other words, there's a scale and then there's the liner and the liner is not inset into the scale. But for $30, you can't complain about that. This clip is really super strong. And the peel ply is not aggressive, but it's there and very cool. And there's no problem getting it in and out of the pocket, maybe a little bit because there's no landing strip there. But given that this is $30, I can totally forgive that. Non-turning pivot here, uh, show scale side, which is really cool for a budget knife because sometimes they don't do that. They just have another nut over here, um, but they took the time to do that. Uh, their thumb studs are very nice. They're like this nice big pillar, which I like, and is very easy to flick. This thing is super screaming sharp, and the hollow grind really helps with that. This is the kind of knife you can take with you, and you won't, at the end of the day, be sad that you lost it or that it got confiscated for some reason, but still is everything that a knife needs to be. Overall, I think McGurin hit it out of the park with this Taycog. It is a phenomenal knife. It really, really is. Um, I keep trying, I'm struggling here to think of something bad to say about this, and I really can't. For the price point, I think that this is absolutely a banger. There's a link down below. There's also, this comes in black as well as green, and there's links down below for that. If you use my links, it will go to help support the channel, but you're not, obviously not obligated to do that. Um, I'm not good at front flipping, um, and I thought that I wouldn't like this knife because of the front flipper, but because it has such easy access, access to the thumb stud and flicks out so nicely and the lockup is so good and it's totally centered, it just is awesome. And it's pretty light in the pocket too. This thing is about, I don't have my scale down here, but I'm gonna say that it is, uh, the ratios are pretty darn bang on. And then, do I have my tape measure down here? I don't have my tape measure down here, but this is just coming in at three inches or a little less than three inches of sharpened blade length, which is great. It's a nice little folder. It's not necessarily a full size knife, but it feels like it. And there's a nice, the ergos are pretty darn good. I wish there was a little bit, oh, here's something I don't like necessarily. I wish there was a little bit of jimping here, but again, totally forgivable given the price point on this. There's no way to choke up on this, but again, I don't think that that's a problem. So overall, I think that this is a good knife to have around. I I'm absolutely pleased with it. Um, so if you guys want to support me, you can leave a comment down below. That's the e most easy way to support me in this channel. And then you can also follow my Patreon link down below. And for $3 a month, you can join the Knife of the Month Club, where I give away a knife every month to my members. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time on Sharp Ends. Bye-bye now.